Now, what I've got for us to take a look at today is a uh, GSM cell phone signal uh, repeater booster. This is a 900 megahertz booster and it was sent in by uh, a subscriber of the channel. He doesn't want me to mention his name. He uh, he bought this as a package on Wish.com. It wasn't the one that uh, he wanted. He wanted the uh, uh, 20... Uh, the 21 megahertz one the uh, 2.1 gigahertz version of this now wish i've bought a couple of things on wish before and you have to be really really careful uh, basically he thought he was buying the uh, 21 uh, megahertz one and then he had to choose which type of plug he wanted so he went and clicked on uh, a uk plug but what he didn't realize is that by clicking on the uk plug it changed the repeater that he was going to buy it's a kind of hidden in the drop down menu and uh, he ended up with this which he didn't want um, 900 megahertz uh, repeater was pretty useless to him um, so he sent it to uh, me to take a look at basically did they actually do anything do they work um, that's the question we're going to try and answer today as I say it came uh, with the uh, Yagi that we just recently took a look at the 900 megahertz Yagi uh, that is supposed to be mounted on the outside of your home and then uh, with that beautiful uh, 10 meters of coax that they supply with that uh, you plug it into this end and then on this end you have a, an omnidirectional antenna that's supposed to give you an enhanced signal inside your home now if you have a look on youtube um there's a few videos on these not really uh, explanatory uh, videos uh people using these and then uh, using their phone and showing look i've got an extra bar an extra two bars there um some people doing speed tests which i don't believe i think they're fake um so i'm going to try and show you over on the uh, test bench uh, the fact that these don't work and are pretty much next to useless at least this one is um and i would have thought that you know the 21 megahertz one and the 1800 megahertz ones and now on wish there's even a 5g one which i've i've tried to buy that one and again when you go to choose your plug it changes it i don't think it really exists the uh, 5g one um but um yeah they don't work <laughs> basically and any video that you've seen where people are showing the bars i'm pretty sure it'll give you an extra bar on your phone but that'll be completely meaningless it will be an extra bar of complete noise and uh, useless signal so let's take this over to the bench uh, we'll have a look at its uh, output uh, rating on the power meter we'll feed some signals into it and do some experiments to uh, see if it really does do anything now before we uh, start the uh, test here with the setup that i'm going to show you the interesting thing that i mentioned at the beginning about him having to choose a uh, uk plug this is what he ended up getting a uh, euro plug with a uk travel adapter <laughs> so, so he didn't even get a uk plug so we're going to do the first test i've got my signal generator here and it's producing a 900 megahertz signal at 16 dbm now i've built this omnidirectional uh, dipole here to use because for some reason this didn't like um the the uh, signal being ported directly into the unit here so when i connected it up directly it just didn't like that it uh, complained so i've got this here this is simulating my uh, mobile phone and at the minute we're testing um, the uh, transmit power so this is transmitting at 16 dBm being picked up by uh, the omnidirectional antenna on the amplifier here and that's being fed through the amplifier and come into the output here which we're going to measure using the power meter now this simulates uh, the fact that uh, connected here would be that 900 megahertz Yagi that we took a look at in a recent video with all that crappy coax remember that uh, we fed a 16 db signal into that crappy coax and we're only getting about half of the power out so we were getting about eight to nine db out so that's the amount of loss we were getting and we need to bear that in mind when we're doing this uh, test here 
So just a quick overview then, we've got 16 dBs being fed into this antenna here, being picked up by this antenna on the amplifier, and then going out of this end of the amplifier into the power sensor, and it's being displayed on the power meter. Now, as you can see, the fact that we're pumping a 16 dB signal here, being picked up here, the uh, amplifier is only producing 12 dB out so we're getting a considerable amount of loss uh, it's not producing anywhere near to its specs the specs of this um, is supposed to be on the transmit side 23 dBm and on the receive side 27 dBm but from our uh, 16 dB signal here which is extremely accurate we can lose 3 dBs maybe um, here in the near, near field but this is supposed to take a small uh, signal and then uh, amplify it up but you can see on the output we're only getting 11.9 call it 12 dBm so yeah it's uh, not very good at all now looking at the signal that's being produced on the spectrum analyzer here uh, we can tune it in a little bit more so there we go, 899 uh, gigahertz there on the spectrum analyzer. We've got all this noise at either side, and we've got this signal coming up here. Now, I want to uh, leave it on the spectrum analyzer because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something with the amplifier. Now, what I want to do is I want to remove the antenna from here and I want to put uh, this 50 ohm termination on uh, to this end now what that's effectively going to do is it's going to stop receiving any signal and uh, basically what we're going to see on the spectrum analyzer is pure noise that's generated from inside the amplifier so we'll have a look at that on the spectrum analyzer and then we'll measure that noise using the power meter so now we've got the 50 ohm termination in place, so it's not receiving any signal from here. I've also turned the uh, power level down to 0 dBm, but uh, it's not picking anything up at all with that 50 ohm termination on there. And if we take a look at the spectrum analyzer, we're getting all this noise, and that's just being generated by uh, this little amplifier. It really is pathetic. So now I've connected the power meter up instead of the spectrum analyzer, so now we're purely just measuring the amount of noise that's being produced with this amplifier, no signal being fed into it at all, and we can see that on the power meter we're getting minus 13 dBm, which is extremely bad. This uh, amplifier is making so much noise, and when you factor in the amount of noise that this is making, as well as how bad the coax was that I showed in a previous video where we're losing half of the power through the coax because it's that bad then you're completely wasting your time having this in place you really are it's not doing anything for your uh, mobile signal in your home and the thing about this is is because it's producing that amount of noise at 900 megahertz your phone is not that smart especially when it's uh, producing those uh, power bars on its screen it's uh, not a piece of test equipment and your phone is not going to be able to differentiate between an extra bar of complete noise compared to an extra bar of uh, signal as far as your phone can is concerned uh, it'll give you that extra bar thinking it's getting a uh, better signal but you're not getting a better signal you're actually doing worse because uh, producing this kind of noise that's how we make a jammer that's how we can jam a signal so although it might look good on your mobile phone with an extra bar but um, that extra bar is not giving you anything in fact it's making things worse it's uh, yeah you really need to stay away from one of these so let's have a look at the um, uh, we've had a look at the transmit side let's have a look at the receive side and see if that's any better so this is the new setup then and we've flipped things around a little bit so now our uh, signal here is being generated by our uh, signal generator 16 dBm this uh, dipole here is now our cell tower this omnidirectional antenna here on the uh, amplifier is our Yagi antenna which uh, you know we position outside our home using that crappy coax and uh, feeding that signal in 
to our amplifier, our amplifier, and then uh, on this port here would be connected an antenna which uh, would be uh, picked up by our mobile phone. So I'm now measuring the power coming directly out of this end, which would normally be fed into the omnidirectional antenna. So I hope uh, you know you can follow that. That's our cell tower. This is our uh, Yagi antenna on top of our house going into our amplifier and this being fed out into our home to be picked up by our mobile phone. So the signal that we're getting out of the amplifier is about the same 13.10 dBm of uh, gain that's being produced by this amplifier. And remember we've got our signal generator 16 dB here being picked up by the, this antenna here being fed into the amplifier and then output directly into our power meter and we're only producing 13 dBm from our 16 dBm signal so it's just as bad in reverse as uh, a receiving setup as it is a transmitting setup and here we are on the spectrum analyzer we've got our 900 megahertz signal there with all this noise around it it's actually doing nothing I'd be uh, much better just connecting the uh, signal generator straight up into the spectrum analyzer. We'd get a much better signal than uh, you know picking it up through this uh, so-called amplifier. It really is bad. And as you can see on the power meter, we're getting uh, negative one dBm there, negative 1.5 dBm. So because the negative numbers, that is uh, worse than uh, when it was as a transmitting amplifier in receive mode this antenna this amplifier makes way more noise so it's even worse it's just not worth you turning it on now let's take a quick look at the board under the macro lens and i'm going to point a few things out here we've got uh, some kind of uh, divider or combiner i think it's probably a divider splitting off the signals along these two uh, paths here path one here and then path two here uh, I want to point out that the LEDs you've got two of them you've got the red one which is the power LED and the green one does absolutely nothing uh, this is uh, five volts and we've got a voltage regulator here and then if we go along here we come to the first amplifier here and that's a broadband amplifier and then we come to some kind of filter here now this uh, filter has got hd6 sorry hdf6988 written on it there's uh, two of these filters uh, hdf6988 and uh, 6989 can't find any information about these filters on uh, the internet uh, but th what they're probably doing is uh, because this is a broadband amplifier they're uh, probably some kind of bandpass filter and uh, keeping uh, the signal at 900 megahertz or thereabouts and then we've got a second amplifier here and then finally a third amplifier just here and then we come down and then we've got another divider combiner here and then again along to the uh, voltage regulator on this side of the board and then we've got an amplifier just there that's the first amplifier on this side and here we've got uh, the second filter as I say can't find any information on these might be worth uh, removing these from the board actually putting them, them on a the, uh, evaluation board just to check them out see what uh, frequency they uh, they are or whether they're a bandpass filter some kind of saw filter I don't know but uh, then we come to the second amplifier on this side of the board and then finally the third one just over here and then we come back to where we started so very simplistic board um, you know there's, there's not a lot going on here I mean as far as the tracers are concerned it's not like a typical RF layout where you would see uh, you know lots of tracers uh, going off and uh, and that's it's 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 let's just say it's a very simplistic layout so to finish off then um as you saw we put a 16 uh, dbm signal in and we were getting less out than what we were putting in um 
and you know the antennas that I did as I said it didn't like to have uh, that directly inputted into this amplifier uh, so we did that uh, near field near field coupling effect with the two antennas but we're putting 16 gig in and we're pretty close uh, to the receiving antenna and we're getting less than that out I mean uh, it's not going to do anything for you it's probably going to make things worse but because of the amount of noise it makes it'll con you into sticking an extra bar on your phone and you think you're getting a better signal so unless you live next door to a cell tower this is just going to uh, make things worse for you to be quite honest with you and if you live next door to a cell tower you certainly don't need uh, one of these but yeah stay clear of them they don't work it's a load of rubbish but that doesn't mean to say that uh, these things are real in the real world it's just that these cheap ones here i think uh, wish uh, are advertising this one at the minute for 25 pounds i mean whether you end up paying 25 pounds when you click on everything uh, like you do on wish choosing your uh, uh, delivery method and your uh, plug that you want the price kind of changes as you click but um yeah there, there are uh, ones from uh, decent manufacturers but they cost uh, a few hundred pounds uh, that they probably work to some extent but uh, yeah i'd stay well away from one of these unless you're really really desperate um don't buy one of the cheap ones but yeah possibly one of the uh, more expensive ones would probably work so i hope you found uh, this video useful um you know uh, there's a lot of videos uh, around these that uh, I do think some of them are a little bit fake they don't they don't actually do what some of them claim uh, some of the speed tests you see people doing on the phones I'll take that with a pinch of salt but uh, yeah you've seen on the inside of this and you've seen over on the test bench as well how much uh, this outputs compared to the amount of power that you uh, put into it and how much noise it actually makes even when you're not feeding any signal into it um, that noise alone it's just a complete waste of time and a complete waste of electricity having this switched on so if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up comments or questions drop them below i'll do my best to answer them and hopefully you'll join me on the next one